Hey everyone, this is Scott Tarsi. I run caddesignhelp.com and I think I want to start doing some videos. So I'm going to give you a little tour of my factory today. Well, technically my office, but where I run all my parts out of, show you my machines and explain what's going on. All right, let's flip the camera around. All right, so when we walk in here, I've got five 3D printers in here. So let's start on this side. This is the Rays Pro 2 Plus. That's what they call it. Um, and what I have made is a mold, actually, for a silicone part. So I will assemble these pieces later to be able to create a prototype from that. I got a camera to keep an eye on the prints when I'm not here. It's always a good idea. A little custom picture I made. They have designed this for these giant rolls, these two and a half kilograms, so came up with this system. Uh, another little nice thing I did is uh, these were too short. This is what the filament will actually turn on. This was too short for some of these atomic rolls, so I created my own longer, slightly longer version. Slightly longer in uh, that direction so that it could fit. All right, over here, got the form two. So and I had another video about how all these machines work, but this is a resin machine, so it's got a laser. Open it up. Liquid resin in here. That's what uh, turns to a solid. And it's all sticky. Here's a prototype I made earlier. And then this machine over here, this has already been washed clean, but this machine over here will actually, actually clean it in uh, this isopropyl alcohol. All right. Now we've got some machines that aren't working. <laughs> this is the CR10 S5. And yeah, uh, the heated bed underneath. Uh, gotta figure that one out. Over here we've got uh, my reliable machines, the Ultimaker, both of them. Making my uh, number one seller, the Led Zeppelin object. I both, uh, and then another CR10, also not working, but this one here, I just needed to replace this tube. So something happened, it got a little bit squished, and then I can't pull the wire. You know, this is the, the stock filament for it, can't pull it through. So, that's a quick tour of what I got going on today, and uh, shoot another video soon, I hope.